Perfecto. Hi, I'm Ainoa. And I'm Elena. We interviewed Lisa Page, a Canadian woman who owns Botanica. And we've talked about the philosophy behind the food and the place and how the teamwork is really important in the management of the place. She has traveled a lot, so she has a lot to say. Check her, check her out in our video. Here or... No, it's so... Here. Because the video is light. light. Cut. Botanica is a botanica is a kind of an exciting an exciting part for us. Um, it's very much a collaboration. It's like a team effort. Yeah. Um, there's not just me involved. There is uh, my husband, who's American, mm -hmm. and also our partner, who is from Bilbao, mm -hmm. and. And then we have our amazing staff yes. and short time. Botanic has been open for two years now. Mm -hmm. And so when we first arrived in San Sebastian, space came available for, for rent. Yeah. And so um, we saw the space, we saw the potential in the space, the garden. Just gastronomy yep. or right. it's, it's not um, too big, it's not too... My, like I was saying before, my husband's American, yeah. and about 15 years ago, when he was kind of doing some traveling, yeah. he went to Bilbao, and he lived in Bilbao for a couple of years, mm -hmm. and he made a lot of friends there, and he always had the idea that one day he would return oh, to yeah. the Basque country yeah. to, to live. And so when we were getting ready to leave Turkey, the question was where, where to go, yeah. and we weren't quite ready to go back to, to Canada or the U.S. Mm -hmm. And so we said, okay, let's, let's try Spain. Yeah. And so, and initially we thought we were going to live in Bilbao. Oh, okay. It's a bigger city yeah. with maybe more opportunities for yeah. job, different things. Mm -hmm. But we came to visit friends in San Sebastian. We had been here before, mm. and I guess summertime, the, the beach, the yeah. hiking, the bike paths, so the nice. food, yeah. everything, we, it, yeah, it just caught us. Yeah. And so yeah. and we decided to come here instead. That's so cool. Yeah. So adventurous. Yes. I wish so I'm like that when I'm older. I just, <laughs> I'm gonna live here. Yeah, you never really, you never really know. And yes. although I'm, I'm getting to a point where I'm a little bit tired of learning new languages. Like I don't think I would, I don't know if I have the energy to move to a new country yeah. and learn a new language, but I would move to a new place. Yeah. Either a Spanish speaking place or an English speaking place. Yeah. Um, because I love, I love that feeling. Yeah. 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 Learning new th things from Yeah, cultures. learning, learning new things and and just uh, changing the scenery yeah, yeah. around you. Yeah. Yeah. So um, now about Botanica again, we yeah. jumped back. Um, so um, is, we noticed that there's like a food philosophy, there's mm -hmm. also like vegetarianism, like can yeah. you tell us something about the gastronomy here? Sure. Um, I mean, everything we try to do, we try to do uh, in a healthy way. We. Our fixed menu is vegetarian, but mm -hmm. we do we do have meat as well. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people think that we are vegetarian just because of the yeah. the environment, but the truth is, you know, sometimes we have burgers, sometimes yeah. we have well, steak yeah. and and different things. Um, but the the philosophy is just to cook fresh, healthy yeah. clean food, food yeah. and yeah, and keep everything in season. Um, one of the good things and bad things about our kitchen here is yeah. that it's very small. Oh. So what that means is that we don't have a lot of space to, to store things. So what that means is that every day they're having to prepare things. They come in the morning, they prepare things fresh for the day. Yeah. And then usually by the end of the day, everything is gone. Yeah. And then the next morning they start fresh again. Yeah. So, so it's hard work. So yes. it's, it is hard work, but uh, we're, we're proud of the food that we put out because it yeah. is fresh and it's different and it's local and it, it goes with the season and so... Yeah, I think it's worth it because it does make a difference, like you... Yes. you the taste. Yeah, the yeah. taste and everything, like you notice it, yes. like comparing it with other places, you know. 
that yeah I mean we really you know, try to get in the microwave and yeah. yeah I mean that's the first thing I, I, and as you'll see here in Botanica we actually don't own a microwave oh we, really no I didn't. we 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 threw that out the first when we opened really? and we do everything we if we need to heat something up we do it in the in the oven yeah uh, and so yeah, yeah. Good advice I think it's that never yeah, I mean as soon as also as soon as you're out of your comfort zone like if you're soon as you're out of your comfortable environment sometimes that's when it pushes you to to do more and to work harder and yeah. so yeah if you have that chance to to push yourself and and put yourself in an uncomfortable surrounding or different mm -hmm. surrounding I would say just go for it and embrace it and and it yeah. might be hard but um, you always come out a better person, I yeah. think. More mature, I think. Or yeah, more grow. mature and yeah, nice. more well-rounded and mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's so cool. Those in Botanica, yep. do. so what, like, yep. are they, when are they organized or? Okay. How um, did, they how did you decide to yeah. do this? Wow. Well, um, well, we try to do them. We 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 tend to have more shows in the summer. Yeah. Um, just true. because it's great the. Musicians can set up on the stairs here, yeah, and, the weather. and the weather's great, and people can be outside. Mm -hmm. And we, I mean, we we like to do cultural things. Yeah. Sometimes we have speakers come, uh, and I don't know. We really just want to provide a place where people can come and enjoy themselves in the mm -hmm. community, in the neighborhood. And one way to do that is to have concerts yeah. and offer concerts more in the summer. Um, but in the winter we do as well, but it's it's inside and it tends to get quite full. Yeah. So we tend to do it a little bit more in the summer, uh, generally every week. Mm -hmm. And it's great. Yeah, different bands come yeah. and groups come and and yeah, and I, people really enjoy it. Yeah, I, I want to come to one. I've never been yeah. like, here to do so. Oh, we have we have one actually next week. Really? On, About, but it's it's on a Wednesday. Um, uh, at 7.30, so, but it and might and be... And what is it? Like a band? Or uh, yeah, it's a band. Yeah, cool. and so depending on the weather, it might be one of the last concerts that we have set up outside. Oh. Uh, and it's great that it's... Normally we have them on the weekends, but this yeah. one happens to be during the week. Oh. And so... We'll check our, our exams and <laughs> we, have, we don't have many, we'll come. <laughs> <laughs> Is it only like music you, you said, uh, like speech talks, talks and... Yeah, some, oh, we've had some people come and give talks about um, like local farmers mm -hmm. and how to, like for example, one of the things that we do here is that we have um, um, baskets prepared by local, oh, fa local yeah. farmers with fresh produce and they get delivered to Botanica and you can sign up on a list if you want to pick up a basket of fresh oh. vegetables. Uh, and so sometimes we have people come and give talks about mm -hmm. uh, farming here and yeah. the small, supporting the small farmers yeah. and the local, the local community. Yeah. yeah. So you have like a system of buying, um, of, of like giving out? Yeah, we have a, yeah, we have this system of, uh, f you know, for example, so if you're interested, you write yeah. down your name and then uh, I think it happens once every two weeks now. Mm -hmm. uh, the baskets get delivered from the local farmers and there's just, sometimes you never know what you're going to get. It's what yeah. they have and when it's yeah. fresh, but usually they come full of just amazing yeah. fruits that's, and vegetables. Yeah. That's so cool because in school we've learned about all these like new industry, like the yeah. transgenic, yeah. Like yeah. how you see like, um, I don't know, apples in the supermarket and they're so perfect they're and so green like the and they look like plastic yeah. and yes. it really, I don't, it really makes me like angry because I, I tell my mom, hey, we gotta buy something that's fresh, really, that's clean. Yeah, and it's, it's so difficult nowadays because everything is manipulated. They throw manipulated. away the ones that look weird or, yeah. or bad. Right, yeah. and it's hard for them to compete with the big supermarkets. Yeah. So this is a way for them it's to... so good to, that you have this. Yeah, so... Well, yeah, maybe you want to know. put your name on it. I, 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 I will yeah. definitely tell my mom. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. And, oh, I have the password. Do you know? Because <laughs> we have the script there. So. Yeah, okay. Okay, so. 
Yeah, and now just like advice in general for young that want to like like you that yeah. you went. Yeah. Like, you weren't because now a lot of of them are afraid to go outside because they yeah. I know they or Economy they're not supported or... by the family or they say oh no you just won't get a job it's too dangerous. Yeah. So I I feel like in Spain there's not like such. Um, going away yes going out maybe like, I, I know like friends from the states or like, yeah they are like more open to yeah they take a gap year yeah. to or in England or not only in the states but yes England and other places yeah. it's like gap year no don't do that or it's I don't know just time. stay here and yeah I think uh, I think everybody should should try to experience living abroad for a little while if you can yeah. uh, I think it's I think you grow as a person, I think you learn so much, I think you meet people from from other parts of the world and you you really have a chance to I don't know, to to learn. Yeah. And so and although it might be kind of scary and uh, you might feel nervous, I think just just go for it and you need to have uh, faith that yeah. everything will be okay, that you will you will meet people and you will you will survive yeah <laughs> and, yeah. and you will things. you will you will come back uh A new never regretting that you that yeah, you, you did this that, yeah really. yeah so and now like the last thing um yeah what what advice can you give to those who would like to open a restaurant of their own like or something like this mm -hmm. you know like start a business yeah um i think Realize that you that you can't do it on your own. That you need to yeah. you need to surround your you need to surround yourself with yeah. with 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 a team that you can trust, and you will be you'll become a family with this team. Yeah. And so you need to have the support around you. Be patient, and work hard. And work hard, and just try to put out the best possible product. Uh -huh. food and drinks that you yeah. can and and yeah um, respect the people that you work with mm -hmm. that's and so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's so cool so I, I I think this is it <laughs> we have finished the script so thank you very much oh you're welcome <laughs>